Um, all right. Well, I have one more. I have one more uh, spooky indie game that we can play really quick before we get on to Dead Space. Um, let me get it real quick. Um, this one's called uh, Bleakstead. This one's called Bleakstead. And yeah, that was pretty cool. It was this kind of like self-contained little story there. Um, all right, hang on. WASD, mouse to look around, left click to interact. Um, what the list put? Uh, F to view list. E to look through the camera. Okay. Uh, I'll probably just keep that minimized there. Okay. Without further ado, this one's called Bleakstead. It's 10 by 7. Yeah, that's fine. Ultra graphics. You're probably going to drift off to sleep. You play Bloodborne all day. Oof. Well, get some good rest, Crawl Spacey. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. Let me... Get Bleakstead captured. Looks like this. Now, I really don't know anything about... Oh, I really don't know anything about this game. I'm flying blind here. Whoa, fuck. You're finally here. This is the very last stop. Why don't you stay for a while? Or you could wait for the next boss. The diner has some wonderful cherry pie. Okay. There's a run. I can I can run with sprint. Oh, this is kind of... I, these graphics are kind of spooky to me, too. Oh, whoa, look at that. Uh, look at that RBG effect over there on the left. All right. Um, so we're at a motel. It would it would appear. Oh come on, come on, come on! Let me in there. Vials of blood. Uh, point pointy rocks. Burnt gnome hats. Interesting store. Also interesting FOV. I can't see anything in here. Okay. There's something in here. I don't... I don't see... Oh, there's like a piano? Can't see anything. The note reads, I couldn't stand it anymore. I've gone to... I have gone to the Whispers. There's a trail next to the diner. The Whispers are coming from that direction. Um, anybody in the office? There's nobody here. Um, alright. See, we got a key for seven. We got a key for five and seven. One, three, five, and seven. That's easy to remember. Um, I guess we'll start with seven, because we're already over here. <laughs> Looks like every motel ever. Oh, God. I gotta be on the other side of that. It's too wide. It opens too wide for me. Ooh, there's, like, grime in there, guys. Ooh, it's grimy in there. Mini fridge with some grime. Wait, wait. Oh, these are just people, you know, just hanging out, playing fucking Xbox. Oh, you don't mind me, I'm just breaking into your fucking room with the key that I have for no reason. Can't, can't turn on the light. There's soap! Well, that was interesting, let's check out five. Nobody in this one. And one of those weird gnome hats. Anything in your mini fridge? Nope, just grime again. Any crimes going on in here? Whoa, what's that? It's just the wallpaper. Weirdly polygonal toilet. 
Apparently the most recent version of that game has combat with those bug dudes. Oh shit, I'll have to check that out then. Yeah, it's always a risk with itch.io because sometimes it's not the most uh, up-to-date version of the game. So I guess that was an earlier build that we just played. Whoops. Um, so we don't have a key to get in there, but we do have the key to three. This one has uh, the exact same furniture as all the others. The one on the very end had had like kids playing an, an Xbox, but none of these others do. Oh my god, this FOV is like gonna make me sick. <laughs> I don't get motion sick very often, but or, 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 I don't think I've ever gotten motion sick. Now that I now that I say that, I don't think I've ever actually gotten motion sick. But if I was going to, it'd be this game. Nothing in there again. Um, very dark in here. Uh, there's apparently like a camcorder and stuff that you can get. Can I interact with the beds? Can't interact with any of that. Probably did things in the wrong order or something. Oh, there's a diner. I was told that the cherry pie was good. So let's just see about that. Another out-of-towner. Want to guess how I can tell? It's the look of y'all. There was another one like you. Photographer or something. She left that laptop there. That laptop? A message is on the screen. I've locked myself in my room. The whispers keep telling me to come out. I don't want to. I should go look for the laptop's owner at the motel. What? If I click on it, my vision gets red. If I click on it, my vision gets red, y'all. Y'all. All right, y'all. Uh, is that it? That's, that's all I need in here, yeah? I love rock and roll. All right. Can I talk to you now? It was a gamer laptop, I noticed that. Yeah, they had like the fucking chromatic keyboard. Oh shit, oh you can open the freezer doors, interesting. What if I wanna grab some brewskis? I wanna grab some radical brewskis for my boys. Alright, I'm leaving. This uh, store, I, I have a feeling there's gonna be more to that. But hang on, laptop's owner? The only one of these with someone in it... Oh wait, is it the one where they lock themselves in? I could remove these planks if I had a tool. Oh shit, okay. Oh wait, what did this say? There's a trail next to the diner. This trail? Doesn't look like there's much to this direction, friends. Oh, there's something here. This photo was taken from somewhere around here. Something is written on the back of the photo. In room A is a woman. Aw, oh, fuck. What's that? So there's like... Is this... Is this the thing? Ooh, this cactus. A decaying corpse. I feel uneasy looking at it. Good lord. So... I mean, there's some shit over here, too. Um, I kind of want to find a tool so that I can pry those planks off that door. There's some shit going on in the sky, too. What the fuck is that about? Is that just how the sky looks? Is there a mountain? Right there or something? It's fucking weird, bro. What's this? Ble uh, Bleakstead Trailer Park. Okay. I forgot this game's called Bleakstead. 
I was like, Black Steed Trailer Park? I could just go into people's fucking homes. It's a, it's one of those Nuka Cola fridges from Fallout 3. All right. In room eight is a woman. She knows about the whispering rock. Oh, okay, that's what it said. Thank you, thank you, Octum. Uh, oh my goodness, this one's all gross. It has the it has the roof taken off. Everything's all crusty. Everything's all Silent Hilly in that one. It has the like Silent Hill rust crust that like builds up on everything, you know. Ooh, they got vials of some shit. A sink full of orange water. A rusty pan on the stove. Interesting. Interesting. Who's in here? What's in your fridge? More vials. No liquid in the sink in this one, though. I would like to find the tool. To get the, like a, like a crowbar, probably. Is what I need. I think I need a crowbar to get in that room. What's what are these? Soylent green. nothing in this fridge. I kind of checked them in a weird order, though. Let's see, we've been in that one, we've been in the Silent Hill one. Yeah, that's everyone. Anything behind here? There's a rock. This rock has been skewered by daggers. Yeah, it has. How do you skewer a rock with a dagger? That's a sharp ass dagger. This appears to be a piece of a diary entry. Grandmother used to tell us stories of the old ones. When the matriarch of dirt passed on, she bled out into the earth. Nails and teeth became mountains, her flesh the sand, and her blood the river. Okay. Hmm. So we've got some sort of whispering rock. Interesting. And, and, and only one person really knows about it. Wait a minute. Is that more over there? Fucking hell. Oh no, that's a mountain, I think. I feel like I'm not going to find anything out that way. I'm going to go back and look up, look around a little bit more, maybe find a crowbar or something, and bust those, uh, bust those things off that door so we can get on in there. And again, no music, which I believe adds to the spookiness. It's just kind of uneasy. Oh, I might drop frames. As it turns out, there's high CPU usage. Um, so that's six. In room eight, you say? Oh, I didn't need a tool to get in there. List? Press F to view the list. Candles, memories, and ash bleed a stone. A corpse's rib, the whisperer's face. Oh. You're finally here. She heard the whispers. Do you hear them too? The whispers are all around us. Hang on, I'm turning my headphones up. I might hear a faint whisper. Alright, so we gotta get all this stuff. Candles, memories, and ash. Bleed a stone. A corpse's rib. The whisperer's face. Candles, huh? I think I uh, approached this in the wrong 
kind of order here. Um, is that candles? Because I could use some candles. Yes. The candles are over there. On the shelf. They've already been paid for. Just take them. Okay. These are ritual candles. I pick up the candles. They feel strangely cold and heavy. So we need memories in ash. A corpse's rib. I remember where the corpse is. Memories in ash. I mean, this one... You're smoking. Does that have anything to do with it? My vision is red. Never seems to change. Alright. I am going to go to this weird cactus that has the corpse in it, I guess. That might be right. I break off a rib. I feel as I've done something terrible. You have. You've fucking desecrated a, a corpse. Why are you doing this? Because you found a list? Memories in Ash. Is that um, going to be the... That might be the destroyed trailer, actually. The, like, fucked up one? Might be something in here. Strange red mask. I pick up the strange red mask. I feel like I'm being stared at. So that was the face. Um, I don't know what memories in Ash would be. Burnt remnants. I scrape the burnt remnants from the ground and place them into my bag. So we got candles. We got memories in Ash. We got a corpse of rape. We got the whisper's face. Now we just need to bleed a stone. Now we just need to bleed a stone. Pull the dagger out. I pull the knife from the rock. The blade is covered in blood. Okay, so what do I do with this shit, though? Maybe I bring it back to room 8. Maybe, maybe I bring it back to room 8. So this is some sort of, like, ritual creepypasta type of thing. Where we have to, like, oh my god. Where's my prompt? Begin the ritual. Yes. The ritual is complete. Check room four for a device that'll let you reveal secrets. Oh, this is, uh... It's a little bit more than I bargained for. Photo of a bizarre temple. Photo of a temple. A photo of a shed. A strange door. A bizarre structure. An old camera. Um, press E to look through the camera's viewfinder. Oh, is this going to be some fatal frame bullshit? Oh my god. If I'm looking through this camera and a ghost pops out at me and goes like ooga booga booga, I'm going to fucking I'm going to fucking shit my pants. Wait, it was E? Oh, okay, there it is. I got my finger on the wrong button for a minute. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Okay, so I guess I have to reveal all the all of the weird hidden structures. Looks like there's something over there. Oh, that's the door. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Hell. It's just hell world. Spooky shed. Eh, I 
I, th I need a. I need a. I need a tool of some kind still. I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know where to look for that. Saguaro cacti? Is that what these are? Oh. There's gotta be a way for me to get in there though, right? Looks like there's actually only one door. Nope. Shit. I might have to, um... I might have to go back and find a tool and then come back again. looking for some of this shit real quick. I mean, so that's a thing now that I can't really get into. They're knocking them down to build their wall, uh, like in real life or in this? Like, is that their wall, that fucking weird black wall? Oh, what's this? There's something over here. I see it. I see the little red. Oh my god. Ah. I see. can't read these runes. Placing my hand on the- my head on the text, words dig their way into my brain. We watched her bleed out into the dirt. We pressed our faces into the ground, the faint moonlight overhead. Okay. Oh, really? That's fucking stupid. That's fucking stupid. To hear. Okay, is that, that- I guess that's it with this structure. This game is intriguing me. But it's also moving rather slowly. I'd like to find this crowbar or whatever I'm supposed to find. I probably just missed it somewhere. But still. Is there a red? Red thing over there? No. Wait, is there some shit going on over there? Nope. Just dead ends. these other uh, structures are supposed to be, but there's at least one more. Maybe it's not here. Maybe I have to, like, get up in this somehow. But I don't feel like that's possible. Mmm. Yeah, it's, it's too high up.
Um, that is the... Right, hang on. I'm going to try going back to the ritual room real quick and looking at those pictures one more time. Can't talk to you anymore, apparently. Uh, title bleak said there looks to be pages missing from this book. Hmm. No, not the list. I thought, where did all the photos go? I don't know what to do now. Oh, I could just open five? What's going on here? There's nothing. Of course there's nothing. Crowbar's just gonna be in here. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. Right when I think I've gotten used to the FOV, I go to turn too quickly. I lose my fucking shit again. Nope. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Huh. There's something. There it is. Alright, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. I just didn't get the spot. But now, we can get into room two. What the fuck is this? Music box? Very spooky, very spooky melody. Oh God. Is that a person? room's different. Except the bathroom. Bathroom's the same. Aw, oh, man. Is it gonna... It's gonna do it again. Whoops. Looks like I can't exit out of this. Was there a picture on the door? I'm not sure. I'll look after this. Creepy. Why am I in here? I don't really know what the fuck that did for me. But okay. Um, well, we can get in here now, too. There's nothing inter- What do you mean there's nothing interesting in there? There's- there, Are you kidding me? There's nothing interesting in there. Look at all those sixes. Dude, I want to go in there. I guess I fucking can't. I'm not sure what I'm looking at in here. Yeah, for real. I'm gonna try going to that other place. Real quick. Oh, yeah, was there a picture on the door? That's right. I need to check that before I leave. Fuck. That one was... This? Nope. No picture on that door. picture on that door. Okay. I'm gonna go to the, um... I'm gonna go to the nether realm, or whatever the fuck it is. That's through this weird door over here. Um, and 
there is something I can get through over here now. This looks like, um... This looks like when you go to Oblivion in Oblivion. That's what this looks like. That was loud. Ooh, it's getting it's getting spooky now. Fuck. Okay, I gotta I gotta stop sprinting. I say as I sprint more. Yeah, this one's been a slow burn. Not many jump scares, not many uh, outright spooks, but this has been... It's been an, an, an ethereal experience. It's got atmosphere. Oh. Hey. What's up? Welcome home. I like this place. I like what you've done with the place. It feels very homey. <laughs> and it, it closed. Alright. Well, I guess that was it. I guess that was Bleakstead. Um, it was uh, it was less outright spooky. You know, just less, uh, less in your face about it. But I liked it. It had atmosphere. I think that game was pretty good. It's by Valerie Dusk. And let me get you guys a link to that. So there you go if you want to play that game for yourself. It's called Bleakstead. Um, that was pretty good. Pretty fucking good. I like these uh, little spooky indie games. I'll probably pepper a, a few more in throughout the week. Maybe next week. Next week is the last week of October. So I haven't really figured out what I'm doing. Um, if If anything special for that. Uh, but I'm going to take a quick break here, probably only for a few minutes, and then when I come back, we're going to get into dead space, and probably just do that for the rest of the night. So, uh, stick around, I won't be gone too long, and when I come back, uh, more more spooky bullshit, so, see you then.